Consequently, faith comes from hearing the message. And the message is heard through the word, through the word of Christ. Praise the Lord. Dear friends, uh, and you are especially, I, I, I'm so happy to be in this program right now. And uh, first of all, I would like to thank Father Fugirka Skolapali, the one who invited me to be part of this. And as per my understanding, this program is for uh, the children, especially in Standard 5, 6 and 7 in Kalyan Mission. Uh, I hope I have visited once Kalyan Mission. Um, a long time back. Uh, anyway, this is a wonderful opportunity that I can share the love of Jesus in the coming 10 to 15 minutes to you. Uh, okay. And I know that you are, uh, uh, maybe you have already finished many sessions in this program. And I was just thinking what I'm supposed to share to you. Uh, then I thought I'll share my childhood to you. Uh, difference, I born and born as a Christian boy in a traditional Christian family. But uh, what was my problem in my childhood, you know, even if I'm a uh, student, uh, as a Christian boy, I was having a lot of sufferings. And what is the suffering which I face in my childhood is, what the first suffering was, I was thinking it is always going to Mass. Because as you know that uh, our Siddha Bhagavad says, you know, we have a long Mass so most of the time. we. Uh, stand in the mass for a long time, we'll be having leg pain. Then I'll be thinking, Oh my god, why should I sit low, stand long time in this mass and all? So I was not happy at all about the uh, the mass and the family prayer and catechism school. You know, that six days we are going to school. Um, I know that you may be happy there, but on the seventh day, when you're going to Sunday school for one and a half hour, sometimes you feel disturbed. Or uh, my thing, my family prayer, which was the third thing in my life. I mean like, you know, which is so much confusing to me. Every day evening we had a long family prayer. And my grandmother was leading the family prayer and she was praying, praying, praying and going on. So I was so much worried about it. And I always lead as just like, you know, some of you are also having the same problem. While we are having the family prayer, you are also maybe praying, sleeping in between. So myself and my brother also had the same thing. So it was my childhood uh, spirituality or uh, it was my childhood Christianity. And after I finished my 10th standard, uh, I feel, okay, I become youth. Now I don't need to worry about anything. So I don't need to follow anyone's word. I thought, ah, oh, I can do things myself. Then when I reached my 10th standard, 
ఓకే మా స్పిరిచువల్ లైఫ్ వాజ్ వెరీ బ్యాడ్ నాట్ బ్యాడ్ యాక్చువల్లీ ఐ వాజ్ నాట్ నోయింగ్ వాట్ టు ప్రాక్టీస్ ఐ వాజ్ గోయింగ్ ఫర్ మ్యాథ్స్ అండ్ ఐ వాజ్ అటెండింగ్ సమ్ డోట్ ట్రీట్స్ సామ్ నాట్ అట్ ఆల్ హ్యాపీ సో మై మై పేరెంట్స్ పుష్ మీ ఫర్ డోట్ ట్రీట్ సో దిస్ అట్ యూ మస్ట్ గో అండ్ అటెండ్ దిస్ బట్ ఐ అటెండ్ దట్ డోట్ ట్రీట్ వితౌట్ ఎనీ హ్యాపీనెస్ ఇన్ మై మైండ్ అండ్ ఇట్ నెవర్ టచ్ మీ ఇట్ నెవర్ గీవ్ మీ ఎనీ ఎనీథింగ్ సో ఆఫ్టర్ దట్ ఐ ఐ గెట్ టు మై కాలేజ్ డేస్ ఈవెన్ దేర్ వాస్ అ ట్రైనింగ్ ఏ మిషన్ ట్రైనింగ్ నాట్ ఇన్ ద కాలేజ్ యాక్చువల్లీ ఇట్ వాస్ ఎ ఇట్ ఈస్ హ్యాపన్ ఆన్ మై హాలిడే అండ్ మై పేరెంట్స్ పుష్ మీ టు గో ఫర్ ఇట్ బట్ ఐ వాస్ నాట్ హ్యాపీ టు గో దట్ బట్ వన్ ఆఫ్ మై ఫ్రెండ్ ఇన్ వైట్ మీ టు బీ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ దట్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ సో ఐ జాయిన్ ద ప్రోగ్రామ్ ద ఫస్ట్ డే దెర్ వాస్ ఎ లాంగ్ క్లాస్ ఐ డింట్ అటెండ్ ఇట్ వెరీ వెల్ బట్ ఇన్ ద ఈవినింగ్ వీ హ్యాడ్ ఎ an adoration while i was praying before i get into the adoration so the leader who was leading the program he just asked me question do you believe in jesus christ i said me um why should i believe in jesus christ or i don't have any personal god experience to believe in him so i said i am not i don't and he said uh they said you pray for it i said me i said i hate prayers i don't want to pray so then he said one good thing to me he said you don't need to pray so i am so happy uh then he said you don't worry i'll pray for you the friends i went to sleep at night but the whole night this missionary was praying for me this day when i come to the adoration and the classroom after the classroom uh, after the session there was an adoration while i was attending the adoration everyone was praising so much maybe you know that some of your friends also maybe some charismatic people they were also praising so much so they were all praising so much then i said why these people are making so much noise let me just pray in common god so i just move back and pray i don't know what to pray so i prayed like this this is if you truly alive you may please come and touch me or give me some experience so um, i was praying this thing two three times and uh, after few minutes i feel a kind of presence near to me and i feel something is touching me and that day i realized actually jesus christ is truly alive because i was feeling the presence of god my eyes feel tears are flowing down and i realize jesus is alive i'm i'm feeling the presence of jesus so what i've come to talk in this program is jesus loves you and he is truly alive the same jesus you are praying is truly alive maybe many people were talking to you about jesus you may be confused whether i need to pray or is this jesus is alive is it all real but dear friends i just want to tell you this jesus is real and he loves you so much you know that okay your parents may be knowing you but are you the real one your parents knowing you i mean the parents think about you are you sharing all your secrets to your parents no we are not we know that okay so our teachers may be knowing us you know so our teachers also know us very well but is our teacher know very well us about us or are we sharing all secrets to our teacher no then who you will share yourself actually most of the time we share ourselves to uh our friends sometime maybe you have some good friends which you can share all your problems and pains and but still you are shy to share everything so you may be searching for a good friend what i would like to introduce to you tonight jesus is your best friend even when you are alone when you are going back to your bed when you feel pain when you feel some feeling when you feel you are alone just start talking to jesus christ you start it definitely jesus will walk with you i'm sure suppose you are sitting to study and you are not uh, getting anything or you are confused when your parents push you for study come on you do this do this you feel pressure so you may be thinking that where i'll go oh, i just want to run out some people are some uh, children have the same feeling really. okay i just want to run out of this place so maybe your parents were fighting each other maybe you have a bad mood some day so you just move sit down for a moment start praying to jesus talk to jesus as a good friend and jesus will be good friend to you and you start talking to 
Holy Spirit. So we heard in the Bible, uh, Jesus already given to us this word of God. John uh, chapter 14, verse 15 says, If you love me, you will keep my commandments. And I'll ask the Father, and the Father will send you a helper. And he again says, If you love me, you will keep my commandments. I myself and my Father will come to you. That means, if you want to get the presence of Jesus and the love of Jesus in your life, what you need to do is very simple. You start loving Jesus. Maybe you have a good picture in your room. You talk to Jesus and start talking. You, may, you have a cross. You start talking to Jesus. And you can feel the presence of Jesus in your life. So, sometimes many of you may be thinking that, Oh, no one is not understanding me. I am trying to share my problems, but no one is not hearing me. Maybe you want to share some of your, some of your small problems to your parents, even they are not giving ear to you. Okay, maybe you want to tell what is the truth, what is the, what is the problem which you have faced to your teachers. They may not be having enough time to share with you, to be with you or sit with you. So, but don't worry. Jesus is having sufficient time. You sit alone, start praying. How to pray? You just start talking to Jesus. So prayer is a communication. So you just, just start talking to Jesus and Jesus will respond to you. So Jesus loves you so much and welcome Holy Spirit to your life. He will be definitely with you and He loves you so much. Amen. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to give another word of God. That is Acts chapter 2 verse 1. It says, when the day of Pentecost has come, they were all sitting together. There was a rush, violent wind. They heard a sound of a rush, violent wind. And they have seen the tongues of fire coming upon them. They all feel in the Holy Spirit. They start talking in different tongues. So, it is a work of the Holy Spirit. The same way, if you are ready to pray today, right now, if you need a helper, if you want a good friend to share yourself, Jesus is coming, going to come to you right now. So, now I request all of you, please close your eyes and start praying. I'm going to pray with you right now. Okay, now you may be able to see a Eucharist picture on the screen or uh, you can close your eyes and see uh, a good picture of Jesus Christ which you like. And start talking to Him from your heart. And the love of Jesus start flowing to you right now. Close your eyes and pray. And tell Him, I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Now you're going to do only one thing. Just repeat, I love you, Jesus. When you repeat the same again and again, the love of Jesus start flowing to you. Now let's start praying. Close your eyes, everyone. Start praying from your heart. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. You repeat the same. Now the presence of God is flowing to you. Dear Jesus, I now pray in your mighty name. Let the presence of Holy Spirit come upon the children right now. And touch them right now. Heal them, Lord. from. Heal them, Lord from all their pain, all their confusions, doubts, sickness, fear of darkness. Okay, we may have a lot of fears. You just surrender all your fear to Jesus right now. And Jesus is going to remove all your fear. Jesus is removing every fear of your life. You may have fear of darkness. You may have fear to some teachers. You may have. So all your fears surrender. Jesus is removing all your fears. And if you are angry with anyone, suppose maybe you are angry with your parents, maybe some of your friends, maybe you don't like some of your teachers, surrender all of them to Jesus right now. And just forgive them whatever pain which you have given to them, whatever the pain you may feel from them. Forgive them and love them. And let's pray to Jesus. Jesus, help me to love them. So, you love your friends, love your parents, 
love your teachers and you love your school maybe you have some disturbance you feel when you go to school you may have some uneasy feeling don't worry now you start loving the school just love the school and now repeat again from your heart i love you jesus by faith in merits i don't take precious blood as we need to know This is my faith and merits. I now take a precious blood and spend it all over myself and also these people, Lord Jesus. Keep them free today from the nights and nights, affliction, disease, doubt, sickness, fear of darkness, and all that is, all that is not of the kingdom. Bless them, Lord. Touch them, Lord. Heal them, Lord. And fill your Holy Spirit in the heart of all these children. In Jesus' mighty name, forever and ever. and never let's pray hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us in this now and the hour of our death amen i thank you all especially all the catechism teachers and priests and sisters and the bishop of kelan mission thank you very much for your time god bless you amen praise the lord so Many people ask me after sharing my God experience to many people. So many people ask me, how can I feel the presence of God, or how can I understand Jesus is touching me, or uh, is it real that Jesus is touching people? So now I am just going to share how this will happen. Dear friends, let's look into the Bible. John chapter fourteen verse fifteen says, "If you love me, you will keep my commandments, and myself and my Father will come to you, and will live inside of you." And again, Bible says one more thing. Uh, John chapter fourteen twenty one, which I said right now. John chapter fourteen fifteen says, "If you love me, you'll keep my commandments. I will ask the Father, and the Father will send you a Helper, and the Helper it's it's none other than the Spirit of God. So when the Spirit of God comes to you, you can feel the presence of God. But where this Spirit of God will come inside of you? The Spirit of God come inside of you means the Spirit of God can come inside of your heart. Revelation chapter three twenty says, "I am knocking at the door of your heart." and if you open it i will come inside of you i will stay with you i will live inside of you i will live with you so that means the spirit of god can come inside of you and many people ask you okay okay so let's think the if the spirit of god is coming to you where he will stay first corinthians chapter 6 verse 16 says our body is the temple of god you may be heard this our body is the temple of god and Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 9 it also saying the same that your body is the temple of god so the word of god says i will live inside of them and i will move in between them so that means the presence of holy spirit can come inside of you he can live inside of you he can move near to you and even jesus can come inside of you so now practically we hear that okay sorry theoretically we hear that So practically, how this will happen? The book of Acts, chapter two, verse one says, "When the day of Pentecost has come, there was a sound of rush, wild wind, and it came to the room where they were sitting. And they have seen the tongues of fire coming upon each and every one. They all fill in, fill with the Holy Spirit. They start talking in the gift, in 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 the tongues. I mean, they started talking in gift of tongues. Now let's see how the how the Peter understood." the presence of holy spirit wa came to their room okay so now i i i tell you suppose some some a, a, one of your guest is coming to your room when you are sitting in the in your hall guest is coming to your room how can you understand you can feel his presence okay the same way you can feel the presence of jesus in your life how you can feel it you know we have five senses okay what are the senses Okay, some of you are saying uh, we have ear, nose, tongues. You can feel on your skin, then you can smell it. Right? No, no, so I said. So what I missed? Did you put up? Okay, so we have five senses: nose, ear, eyes, your skin, and your tongue. Okay, so we have five senses. When the day of Pentecost has come, what happened? Here it is. 
there was a sound of rash while in wind how they understood there was a sound they heard the sound and peter seen the tongues of fire coming upon each and every one that means they could see the fire is coming down so they could feel they could see so it is sense number 2 and sense number 3 they all feel the presence of god how they can feel the presence of god okay now you can feel the heat suppose you are you are sitting somewhere you feel the heat okay when the climate get warm you know you can feel it on your skin same way when it is go cold you can feel it okay some of you eat so much so it fills your stomach right so you can feel oh mommy my my stomach is full so the same way you can feel the presence of god it gives you peace happiness it come inside of you and again you can feel it other way it, it, it is on your tongue so when it is touching the tongue okay you may be hard many people are praying in the tongues but i can tell you when the holy spirit touches on your tongue or it touches your heart you will be able to pray easily i mean you will be able to praise god so what i suggest to you from tomorrow onwards you start praying in the presence of holy spirit and i already told you you are not alone so when you wake up in the morning close your eyes and say welcome holy spirit come live inside of me when you go to school you welcome holy spirit tell okay welcome holy spirit come with me let's go to school when you study when you sit for exam you say welcome holy spirit be with me and dear children if we practice this welcome me holy spirit in your life or when you go for sports when when you, okay some of you have, may have stage fear okay when you go to the stage you fear so much so don't worry when you go to the stage this time you welcome holy spirit you pray welcome holy spirit come with me let's go to the stage let's do this and the presence of holy spirit will come with you and he will help you and he will give you, give you courage and you will become an extraordinary man you will become an extraordinary student in your school how you will become an extraordinary one because you will receive so much power in the same way when electricity comes fan uh, fan turns you know the same way when when the electricity comes makes you works you know the same way when the spirit of god come inside of you it become automatic you will become powerful man like superman you know you will you will receive the spirit of god inside of you and you will be a superman in jesus name so i wish you all the best and uh, let's pray close your eyes let's pray